Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and welcome to Game 3 in a Best of 5 series being played between Root Destiny, he's our blue zerg up here in the top right of Zelnaga Caverns, and his opponent, Root Dodoro, who is the purple Protoss down here in the bottom left corner. So this is actually our second try at a Game 3 in the first one. Dodoro basically lost his scouting probe and then magically exited the game. Destiny was saying that he should get a forfeit win, but we're just going to replay it instead. It was only about two minutes into the game. Destiny only had a spawning pool down, Dodoro only had a gateway down, no real indication of who was going to win that. So here we go into Game 3 Part 2. And they actually got the same spawn position, so that's kind of nice for some continuity. Right now the series is tied 1-1 between Dodoro and Destiny. This show match is a best of five series being played for 25 bucks, hosted and sponsored by Underline Entertainment. They are the official music sponsors of the North American Star League. If you guys enjoy watching that, you will enjoy their music as well. Check out underlineent.com or underlineent on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube to see more of their stuff. But now, let's get right into the game. Dodoro, of course, scouting Destiny just as he would in the first game. Now, I wonder if he'll actually lose this scouting probe again. <laughs> he did lose it in the first game, did not lose it in the second game. Lost it in our first attempt at game three so it is possible they could lose it again here and destiny pulls off the line but he's not going to catch him so like i said before any time that dodoro can keep destiny's drones off the mineral line is a victory for him destiny actually switching up his build order from the last time around dodoro looks like he's building everything at exactly the same time so destiny is going to get his extractor up at the exact same time as his spawning pool not going to have 100 gas immediately by the time that spawning pool finishes but should be pretty darn close so this drone still just wandering around, does actually manage to get trapped there for a couple of seconds. Two more little claws there would have killed him. So let's see if Dodoro backs off long enough to get some shield to regenerate before diving back in. And yeah, he is going to regen that HP so fast, he'll be back up to full in no time. Now he's just patrolling around, going to wait for that spawning pool finish, and then probably just head on home. Back in Dodoro's base, just doing that very typical wall-off that Protoss players do. He can slip a Zealot in right there for hold position and be able to defend against any Speedlings. Now that the spawning pool is done, some Zerglings might be starting here soon. First Queen is going to pop out in just a moment. Other than that, everything is looking pretty standard. There go the first two Lings out of that additional Larva. Dodoro back at home. Once he gets his Cybernex Core, we'll see what he actually has in mind. He's got a second Assimilator already finished here, so it's kind of quick, kind of quick second Assimilator there. He might be able to actually uh, go for some Dark Templar rushes or some fast Stargate play. We'll see what he's got in mind. Chrono boosting his Gateway and his Warp Gate tech and actually getting a Sentry, so it looks like he might be looking to take this into the mid-game. We'll see what tech building he actually goes for. Destiny dropping his hatch finally around 23 supply. His spawning pool's long been done. He's got Zergling speed started, and now he's well on his way toward a solid mid-game. We'll see what his next tech choice is going to be, though. That is going to indicate to us how this game will play out. Dodoro still hasn't built anything. He's still just collecting gas, being patient here, trying to figure out what he's going to build next. Doesn't really have any scouting information on Destiny other than that spawning pool was going to complete at some time. He doesn't even know about this hatchery that's finished here. There's a probe just chilling underneath Destiny's Overlord. Of course, the probe can't see the Overlord, but it, uh, nonetheless, it is there. And Destiny just ran right past it with some Zerglings, chose not to kill it. Not sure what that's about. Maybe he just didn't see it on that minimap. Totally possible. Gateways 2 and 3 being dropped, Dodoro just covering the rest of his base with Vision, getting that pylon on there. He's just going to mineral click down to the low ground, probably wait and try and build a Nexus here next. 3 gate expand is a very solid PvZ build, if you didn't know that already. And Dodoro just going to get these couple of lings away from him. Now a lot more actually streaming through the middle of the map. Not sure if Destiny's going to try some sort of all-out assault or not, getting 6 more lings instead of any drones makes me think he's going to go heavy into this ling production. We'll see, though. Still hasn't dropped a Roach Warren or a Baneling Nest, which is a bit surprising. Uh, stopped mining gas altogether, so he is totally, totally focused on these Zerglings right now, not building any additional queens either. Every larva he gets is headed toward Ling production. Dodoro finally dropping that Nexus there at the natural could be a bad decision, as Destiny is really, really all in with this strategy here. Not really all in, I meant... Um, 
basically he's going speedlings 100%. He is all zerglings. It's not really an all-in build, of course. He is still looking pretty solid back at home. He did lose a lot of those lings. These sentries, of course, just dropping force fields everywhere, and the zealots there just chew through those speedlings no problemo. But he did force a cancel out of Dora. Now actually might force a second one. Looks like he is not going to be uh, fended off from that nexus, just going to keep clawing at it until those force fields drop, and finally he does back off a little bit. Now we see a drone in production. No more lings for the time being. He is about to have a huge surge here. If he can actually manage to slip up that ramp before the sentries get there, it could be quite devastating. He actually is going to split his forces. Good play by Destiny, baiting those tier 1 units away from the nexus, so Destiny can just put a ring around that nexus full of zerglings and kill it off, if not forcing the cancel. Uh, yeah, the cancel actually did not happen. He actually killed that Nexus. I was watching the mineral count just to be sure, and Destiny getting a huge, huge 400 mineral boon there by killing that Nexus. More units warping in here in the back. Lots of force fields going down, trying to protect against the Zergling, and finally they are all slaughtered. Suddenly, though, Dodoro has a standing army, and Destiny is left with just these lings back at home. He's got one queen in each hatch. Destiny is going to want to either counterattack very quickly or try to engage these guys before they reach his natural hatchery so he can try and replenish his army before they actually arrive. This is a lot of zealots, people. Seven zealots will chew through quite a lot of zerglings when all is said and done, and not to mention these force fields being dropped left and right, helping protect all those sentries, those meaty, juicy sentries in the back of the line. Dodoro does already have a zealot on hold position. This forge here and these couple of pylons are a bit prone. Zealot warping in, going to be killed off here. Dodoro is moving forward now, though, and Dodoro is supply blocked until this pylon finishes. Then he will be able to continue that warp in. Now that Dodoro is here, there is no form of defense here for Destiny. This hatch is definitely, definitely going to go down, but it looks like the forge and pylon of Dodoro are also going to go down. Destiny could be a little bit sneaky here and try to chew his way through this warp gate, forcing that Zealot off the line. Back at Destiny's natural, though, he is going to lose this hatch for sure. Destiny loading up with spine crawlers now. He did finally get a roach warren up, but I haven't seen a single roach actually made yet. Uh, Dodoro pushing even closer now with this additional pylon. Destiny not going to be able to chew through that warp gate. A stalker, of course, was just warped in, and Dodoro is actually chrono boosting his warp gates back at home, trying to get up the ramp here. He dropped two force fields there to try and protect against all these drones being pulled off the line. Uh, one zealot picked off by the spine crawler. Not, not a bad pickup there, and Destiny effectively just bought himself enough time to get these spine crawlers finished, so I like it that. Both players down to only one base now. Let's see who is actually going to have the superior forces. Destiny still spending all of his larvae as fast as he can. He's got two roaches up right now. Does not really have the economy to keep churning these guys out. He's under 100 minerals and under 100 gas right now. Dodora with a huge supply advantage, 71 over 47. Uh, still looking very good to be able to try and take this game. He's also got another huge uh, gateway force down here at the bottom, or a sizable force at least as big as Destiny's remaining lings, and he's going to drop that nexus, so uh, once Destiny basically is just, just going to be trapped in his base too long, he's not going to be able to expand. He's trying to make a lair now, and now that it's finished, we'll have to see what he's got in mind. But, uh, ooh, Tunneling Claw is coming up, so he is going to have to research Burrow as well with his next 100 gas, or of course that's going to be a useless upgrade. Dodoro has more than enough here to defend against any Lings trying to kill off this Nexus. He's got a huge army still outside of Destiny's main. A couple of spine crawlers at the top probably will prevent him from actually pushing in here for a while. There goes the burrow being researched with that next 100 gas like we expected. And now all of it's going into Roach production. Dodoro reacting very quickly to these speed links, trying to attack his Nexus. Still doing a good job being present in two places at once. That last larva from that former hatchery going down finally after that creep ends. Forge being dropped again for Dodoro. Wonder if he'll actually try and do any sort of upgrades or uh, drop any cannons, anything like that, or just have a forge there for the hell of it like we saw earlier. Destiny still making lots of roaches, burrow, and tunneling claws. Just going to take some time, so he's sitting back making as many roaches as he can, hoping that Tadoro doesn't kill him before everything's finished. Uh, he's got a handful of lings here in the back, so if Tadoro ever does try to press up the ramp, he'll be able to do a little bit of a flank at least. Good force field there, just buying Dodora more time. He doesn't really realize what's happening inside of Destiny's base. He's just massing up those roaches off of one base. Soon going to have the tunneling claws and the burrow and the robotics facility and hallucination both coming along now. So the robotics facility, of course, is going to allow him to get some detection. I'm not sure if Dodoro actually saw the spikes on these heads of the roaches. Of course, that is a dead giveaway that they've got the tunneling claws upgrade. So if Dodoro actually managed to spot that before the Zealot died, he's going to be well aware and probably crank out those observers no problem. Uh, hallucination, of course, was just going to let him get a look into 
Destiny's base. Roach Speed being researched right now, of course. That is the next thing you would expect to get after Tunneling Claws finished, but Dodoro has such a large fighting force here now. This is a ton of gateway units, people. He could actually just plow right through these Lings and those Roaches if he wanted to, or if he knew how big of an advantage he actually had. 94 against 73 right now. The Harvester count in uh, Dodoro's favor, actually, by 14 Harvesters. That is a huge, huge uh, surplus of workers there that Dodoro's got working off of these two bases. He did drop a couple of cannons. Ling's burrowing back here, but the first observer is about halfway done and very nearby. All these roaches here, they're going to have to get all their miracle burrow micro done in the very uh, scant amount of time before this observer pops out, because once that guy's out, it's going to be pretty much lights out for Destiny. The observer is overhead now. Destiny's tunneling claws not going to matter at all. The DPS from these gateway units going to be too much for that roach regeneration. Destiny is dropping a hatchery once again back at his natural. Uh, Dodoro's trying to pursue here. There are still some lings in the back, but Destiny knows he's not going to be able to win that game. So there is the GG. That's it for game three. Dodoro taking a 2-1 lead, and this is just a best of five series, so Destiny is going to have to win the next two straight if he's going to be today's champion.